Okay, uh, every mechanic should know uh, deal on oil seals here today. That's what we're going to focus on. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you get close on this oil seal. And can we see the spring? Get as close as you can. Micro zoom up on it. Inside of there, actually, do you have that damaged one still? Remember the little spring? Oh, I put it back in. Just take it out. This little spring is what we're talking about inside the seal, okay? So typically, these springs, this side of the seal, faces a fluid side, and on the outside of an oil seal, you can see this rubber lip here I'm pushing on. That's the wiper, the dust seal part of it. We'll get really nice and close there so you can see that. Let's flip around to inside of that. Hopefully that's focused in there. You can see the spring inside. So the dust seal is typically the outside and uh, the spring once again is on the oil or fluid side. But we have some things that are a little bit different here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on this RM85 motorcycle here. And you're going to notice here we got outside, outside, left, and right. And what that means is the crankcases themselves. So here's these two actual seals. Okay? And what you want to do, this is why it's so important when we talk about using the microfish and we talk about having the engine in the orientation that it sits on the vehicle. So, Leah, go ahead and back up and get the engine cases in this. And you can see here how we're laying the cases as it is on the engine, the left crank case, the right crank case, so that we can put these in the right direction. Now what we have here is you have to have an understanding to be able to look at this picture and see that it's a cutaway. That little round cylinder there, that, that represents the spring that we were just talking about, okay? So that's what that represents. So we can see the springs on the inside, this is the left crankcase on the outside. Take a look right here. You can see we've already got this new one installed. So that's installed the correct direction. Wouldn't be a good day if we did that, would it? Okay. Now would you say for most all the oil seals, if you take a look at these numerous ones, do you see how you don't see the spring? Okay. On this Suzuki, on the right crank seal here, this actually has to be installed in this direction. Okay, so it, it, it could seem backwards for what most people are used to when we talk about every mechanic should know and we just make an assumption and install an oil seal too fast. Thanks. That looks like it, you would think that it normally goes this direction. But let's use our resource, let's use our service manual here. I'm gonna hold these engine cases in that correct direction. Now, notice here, if you're unsure how nice it is to hold the part in your hand, would you agree that, get closer, would you agree here, closer yet, that this is the wiper, or is this rubber part of the seal there? And you can see that, that we have the spring on the outside here, so from the outside of the case, this gets installed in that direction. Make sense? Yep. Little tip for uh, oil seals. Uh, if this tells you anything about oil seals, would you agree it says don't make assumptions? Yeah, yeah. Look at your resources. If, if you kind of look through some of these other photos here, even as we get down here of the actual install, you can't see the seal. So we do not know. We can't just look at this and say, oh, the seal goes that way. We really have to rely on our references. If you look at the text, they give us a warning. Be sure to check the direction of the crankshaft bearing oil seals before fitting them. So the warnings are there. We got to make sure and use them.